According to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him. And three days later, after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, what were you arguing about? On the way but they remained silent they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest then he sat down called the twelve and said to them if anyone wishes to be first he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Yes. This coming Sunday will already be the 25th Sunday in ordinary time and the theme of the three readings is true discipleship if we will recall in last Sunday's gospel mark 8 31 to 33 Jesus first predicted that he must suffer be rejected and be killed and rise again after three days Peter rebuked him but Jesus turned around and in front of his disciples rebuked Peter and said get behind me Satan you are thinking not as God does but as human beings do in the gospel this coming Sunday Jesus, in his second prediction, speaks very clearly about his suffering, death, and resurrection. He does not speak symbolically or in parable. He speaks directly. Thinking really as human beings do, the disciples have no idea what Jesus is talking about. They do not understand him. Hindi nila maintindihan ang sinasabi ni Jesus. Malamang ayaw lang talaga nilang intindihin. Dahil sa ayaw nilang makinig sa sinasabi ni Jesus tungkol sa pagdurusa. Mas gusto nilang isipin na ang kanilang pagkamalapit kay Jesus ay magdadala sa kanila sa matataas na pwesto 
sa kahariang itatatag ni Jesus dito sa lupa. Nakapako ang kanilang isipan sa paghahangad ng kapangyarihan. Kaya't nagtalo-talo sila kung sino sa kanila ang pinakadakila sa lahat. Jesus knows what's in their hearts and wasted no time in setting this straight. Para kay Jesus, ang batayan ng tunay na kapangyarihan ay ang tapat na paglilingkod sa kapwa lalong-lalo na sa maliliit. Jesus illustrates this lesson in verse 36. By placing a child in their midst, Jesus is saying to His ambitious disciples, If you want to be truly great, you must learn to be humble and unimportant like a little child. Kung gusto nyo talagang maging mahalaga, matuto sana kayong maging mapagkumbaba at di mapagtaas tulad ng isang bata. Jesus is also saying, false ambition is the desire to rule over others. While true ambition is the desire to serve others. And the best and purest kind of service is that rendered to the most insignificant members of society, symbolized here by a child. Tulad sa verse 30 at 31 ng Gospel, when Jesus spoke about His upcoming passion and death, the first reading in verse 12 speaks about the rejection and maltreatment of God's servant. The people in this reading have an intense dislike for the just one. Hindi nila matanggap at matindi ang pagkapot nila sa taong matuwid. Because of this, because the virtue of this just one exposes their lack of virtue. Ipinamumukha kasi ng taong matuwid ang kanilang kasamaan. In verse 17, to 20 these people these very same people plan and plot to silence and actually kill the just and the virtuous one gusto nilang mawala sa kanilang landas ang taong matuwid upang magpatuloy sila sa kanilang kabuktutan their minds and hearts are so distorted and twisted that they see nothing wrong in this sinister behavior. Dahil sa pilipit nilang pag-iisip, wala silang makitang masama sa malagim nilang asal. The just one in this reading prefigures the Lord Jesus who will suffer, die, and rise for man's salvation. Hindi madaling magmahal, brothers and sisters, tulad ng itinuturo ni Jesus. Madalas ay sinasalungat tayo ng iba kapag sinisikap nating gawin ang tama. Minsan nga'y tayo pa mismo ang sumasalungat sa ating sarili. Dalawang bahagi sa loobin natin ang nagbabanyagan. Una, ang pagkamakasarili natin na nais lamang paglingkuran ang mismong sarili. Pangalawa, yun ang spiritual na bahagi natin na nais mahalin at paglingkuran ang ating kapwa. The first reading 
this first reading fits well with the second reading which speaks well of the inner intense desires ang, ang loobing mapagnasa pagnanasa natin like jealousy and envy selos at ingit which when unchecked this leads to conflicts and disputes that can wreck the life of our community in verse 17 Jesus contrasts earthly with divine wisdom ang kaibahan ng makamundo at makalangit na karunungan worldly wisdom dictates that success is only measured by the material gain achieved by any means ang tagumpay na naatim lang sa pamamagitan ng paglikom ng material na bagay sa kahit anong paraan on the other hand divine wisdom teaches the value of peace ang kalagahan ng katahimikan ng buhay we become righteous by restraining selfish desires and ambition through the right relationship with our God magiging matuwid at makatarungan lang tayo kung pipigilan natin ang ating makasariling pagnanasa at ambisyon sa pamamagitan ng tamang pakikipag-ugnayan sa ating Diyos. In one of the many connections of the three readings this Sunday is this. In the second reading, we find James telling us that evil cravings when unchecked lead us to immoral behavior. 